So I'm going to show you how to use the pleat guide and to make knife pleats on the Prisma dress. So first things first, you'll print out your pattern. If you are able to use a layers function, I highly recommend just selecting the layer that you need. So when you print your pleated, pleated skirt out, your markings are much more legible and you can see exactly where you need to mark. But if you're not able to use the layers function, like if you're on a mobile device and you have to print all the layers, you'll notice that you'll have a skirt piece with markings like that, which are pretty unreadable. In that case, the last two pages of the pattern have pleat guides for each size that look like this. So you'll cut out your, your size pleat guide and you'll use this instead of the markings on the top of the paper. So once you have cut out your skirt piece, I'm going to show you how to use this pleat guide to make your markings. So once you have your skirt piece cut out, you'll cut two pleated skirts on the fold, open up one end, and line it up. You're going to use your pleat guide if you're not able to use the layers. And we're going to start that a half inch in from, the, from one side seam. Now on the pleat guide, we're going to use the outside edges of the box as the solid lines and then the inside line for the fold of the pleat, of the dotted line. So line that up to your edge starting a half inch in and make your markings. If you need to use different color marking pens to distinguish them or even different pen colors, whatever works for you. I'm going to use two different colors of marking pens. I'm going to use blue for the inside dotted line and red for the outside line. And so we'll just make our marking And we'll just move the pleat guide across the fabric as we make the markings. Okay, so we are going to, to make our first pleat, starting from one side seam, we're going to match up the first solid line to the dotted line. In my case, I made my solid lines red with a marking pen and blue for the dotted inside lines. So we're going to make that fold. And then you'll notice when we make that fold, the pleat matches up to the next red line. So we will clip that in place and we'll do it again. We're going to match up the inside dotted marking to that red solid line, fold it over, that fold matches up to the, the red outside solid line, and pen. So these pleats are, they sit right next to each other. So match up the blue to the red, fold it over, matching the up next red, clip in place. Blue to the inside, to the outside, clip. Pins work just as well. You'll find that the pleat that this creates is about one inch. It depends on what size you're doing. Um, there are six to eight pleats, or actually 12 to 16 pleats, depending on, for each skirt piece, depending on what size you're doing, and they vary in length, depending on the sizes. So, let's see what we've done so far. Got our pleats on the outside. So you just continue doing that on the length of the skirt. Once you've made all your pleats across the skirt piece, take it to your sewing machine and use a basting stitch across the top of the skirt to secure the pleats in place. When you're basting, you'll notice you'll probably have to stop and start a lot to make sure that the pleats stay in place because you want them snugly sitting right next to each other to be the right width. And then iron it 
if you like just get your beard that crisp pleated look now you're going to place this align this to your dress front or back whichever side uh, line up your sides It may look like the skirt's going to be too long, too wide for the body. It will actually work out though. Just you got to use your pens or clips. So once that's done, you will just straight stitch or surge across, um, flip it down, and um, there you have your pleated skirt.